Hi there. Now, for this question, we're told that the number of defects per meter in a roll of cloth has a Poisson distribution with a mean of 0.25. And we're asked to find the probability that in part A, a randomly chosen meter of cloth has one defect for two marks. And in part B, the total number of defects in a randomly chosen six meter length of cloth is more than two, and that's for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video, and when you come back, I'll run through the work solution, or you may want to fast forward just to check your answers. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for the first part, part A, what we need to do is to define a random variable for the Poisson distribution with a mean of 0.25. And so we can use any letter we like. I'm going to use X, okay? So make sure it's a capital letter for random variables. So let X be the random variable, put RV for short. And it's going to represent, in this example, the number of defects. So we'll just put here number of defects, and it's going to be per meter. So we'll just write a slash there, per meter. And x is going to be distributed as a Poisson distribution with a mean of 0.25. OK, so we have the one parameter there, the mean then. Now, what we need next is to work out then the probability that the mean number of defects is exactly one. And to do this, you need to remember the formula for the Poisson distribution, working out probabilities, that is. That just as a reminder, if x is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a mean lambda, then the probability that x equals r is given by e to the power minus lambda times lambda to the power r, all divided by r factorial. So for this question, we've got the probability that the number of defects, our random variable x then, equals 1, is going to be equal to and then following the formula here, it's going to be e to the power minus 0.25, the mean, multiplied by the mean, 0.25, to the power 1. And then all of this is divided by 1 factorial, r being 1. And if you work this out on your calculator, you find you end up with 0.19470 and so on. And rounding this, say, to three significant figures, it's going to be 0 0.195. We'll just put in brackets there, three significant figures, 3SF for short. Now for part B, we've got to find the probability then that the total number of defects in a randomly chosen six meter length of cloth is more than two. So for this part then, What's happened is that the mean is now going to have to change. We had number of defects was 0.25 for one meter length. And now we're up to six meters, so the mean is changed to six times 0.25. So we need to define a new random variable. So I'm gonna pick another letter, let's say Y, to be the random variable. Just put that again there. RV for short, and it's going to be the number of defects per six meters. And this random variable Y is now going to be distributed then as a Poisson distribution, but as I said, the mean is going to change. If it's 0.25 defects for one meter, then for six meters it's going to be six times 0 0.25, which comes out at 1.5. So that's given us our new distribution, and from this 
we should be able to now work out the probability of more than two defects. So if we introduce this then as being the probability of y, the number of defects per six meters being greater than two, well, it's got to be one minus the probability that y is less than or equal to two. Being more than two would be three, four, five, six, and so on. But it's much better to work it out as one minus then the probability of y being less than or equal to two. And to do this, we could use this formula and work out the probability of y equaling zero or one or two and add those results together. But it's much easier to use cumulative Poisson distribution tables. And I've got an extract here. You'll see then that the mean lambda is 1.5. So we just look down the column 1.5 under the two. And this gives us that probability of being less than or equal to two. So we've got one minus then 0.8088. And if you work that out, it comes to 0 0.1912. And if we round this to, say, three significant figures, it's going to be 0 0.191 then to three SF, three significant figures. OK, well, I hope that's helped you. And uh, well done if you got those answers. If not, hopefully you've been able to see where you may have gone wrong or certainly how to do it.